Okay, in the last lecture, uh, we have discussed about the first order low pass active filter. So, the drawback of uh, first order filter is in the transition band, the roll off rate is minus 20 dB per decade. So, that is less actually. So, if you want to have the frequency response which is uh, near to the ideal response, then the roll off rate in this transition band should be large. So, in order to have the large uh, roll off rate in the transition band, we have to go for the higher order filters. So, today we will discuss about the second order active low pass filter. This is sometimes called as silent key filter also. So, the general structure of this second order active low pass filter is this consisting of uh, two RC sections. In case of uh, first order, one RC section is there, now two RC sections. First, I will uh, derive the generalized expression in terms of admittances, later I will replace uh, the admittances with uh, resistance and capacitances. This is R f R 1, this is grounded, then at the positive terminal. we have the admittances. This is output V0, this is VI, this you call as Y1 admittance, Y2 admittance, Y3, Y4. Y is the admittance which is the reciprocal of the impedance. We know that uh, V is equal to ZI or i is equal to v by z or v into y. So, if you want to write the expression for the current, you have to multiply the admittance with voltage. Here I am going to derive the expression for the v 0 by v i initially say in terms of uh, the Laplace transform s. Yes. So, first I will derive in terms of y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4, later I will replace this with resistance and capacitances. Let us call this node as node A and the voltage here is called V A and this is node B and the voltage here is V B and this current you call as I 1, this current you call as I 2, this current you call as I 3. KCL at node A. I 1 is the current entering, I 2 and I 3 are leaving, so this is equal to I 2 plus I 3. What is the expression for I 1? This voltage is V i, this voltage is V a, so V i minus V a into I 1. V i minus V a into y 1 is i 1, i 2 this voltage is say V a, this is V naught, V a minus V naught by into 
a minus v naught into i 3 and what is i 3? This is v a, this is v b. So, v a minus v b into y 2. So, the final expression that we want is v naught by v i. I have to express everything in terms of v 0 and v i. Basically, I have to uh, express this v a and v b in terms of v i and v naught. So, that uh, all the terms will be having either v i or v naught, you can take the ratio of v naught to v i. So, from this v i into y 1, if I take this uh, v i into y 1 to the other side, it becomes positive. This is equal to y 1 plus this is y 3, this is y 2 all into v a. So, y 2 plus y 3 into v a and what are the other uh, terms that are left? This minus sign with y 3, this minus sign with y 2. So, this is equal to minus v naught times y 3 minus v b times y 2. Here we have the two variables v a and v b which you have to express in terms of v a and v naught. This is of course, v i this is v naught, this is no problem. We can keep these two terms, but these two terms we have to express in terms of v i and v naught. So, because the op amp is ideal, if this is v b, this is also v b. And if this is v b, the remaining amplifier is this is a non inverting amplifier. So, output v naught is given by 1 plus R f by R 1 times V b. If I forget about uh, this entire circuit before this, so this will be V b, the remaining circuit is here from the V b to this one, this is a non inverting amplifier whose gain is 1 plus feedback resistance divided by R 1, this we have already derived in the earlier lectures. I will call this one as A naught V b where a naught is 1 plus r f by r 1. So, implies what is v b? v naught by a naught, this I will substitute here. So, this is equal to y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 into v a minus v naught into y 3 minus v b is this v naught by a naught into y 2. Now, only thing is this v a how to express in terms of v a or v naught. I will call this as expression 1. Now, I have to replace v a by either v naught or v i. So, for that I will take the KCL at node b. So, what is KCL at node B? This is the current I 3 and here the current is 0 because of amp is ideal, the entire I 3 will flow through Y 4 also. So, if I write the expression for I 3 in terms of A and B, I will write here I 3 is equal to V A minus v b into y 2. I 3 also another expression in terms of this v b and this ground is v b times y 4. So, these two are same implies v a minus v b into y 2 is equal to into y 2 is equal to v b times y 4 implies v a into y 2 is equal to v b is common if I take this to other side y 2 plus y 4 times v b 
but uh, what is Vb? You have just uh, derived Vb is V0 by A0. This Vb is V0 by A0. Therefore, what is Va? Y2 plus Y4 into V0 Y A0 Y2. This Y2 you have to take other side. This is equation 2. Now, we will substitute equation 2 in equation 1. Here Va we have expressed in terms of V0. Here I will replace this. So, what is expression 1 now? Vi into Y1 is equal to Vi into Y1 is the left hand side is equal to y1 plus y2 plus y3 into va into va va is nothing but y2 plus y4 into v0 by a0 y2 minus v0 y3 minus V0 by A0 Y2. Now, all the terms are either in terms of VA or V0. So, you have to basically take the ratio of V0 to VI. This is equal to after simplification Y1 into Y2 plus Y1 into Y4 plus Y2 square plus Y2 Y4 plus y2 y3 plus y3 y4 into v0 by a0 y2 minus v0 y3 v0 by a0 y2. If you take the LCM and if you multiply with v0 also inside, so what is the LCM here? a0 y2. So, the first uh, terms are y1 y2 v0 plus y1 y4 v0 plus y2 square v0 plus y2 y4 v0 plus y2 y3 v0 plus y3 y4 V naught and here LCM is A0 by 2, so you have to multiply with A0 by 2. This is V naught times A0 Y2 Y3. Here in the denominator A naught is there, so you have to multiply with only Y2. So this is V naught Y2 square. So this V naught Y2 square, V naught Y2 square get cancelled. And this Y2 Y3 v0 is common here and here. So, you will get 1 minus a0. If I take a0 uh, y2 to the other side, so vi into y1 y2 a0 is equal to. So, here y4 v0 is common, y4 v0 is common, y4 v0 is common. If I take y4 v0 common in these three terms, what will be left? y1 plus y2 plus y3 times y4 v0. And in these two terms, this and this, v0 y2 y3 is common. So, you will get 1 minus a naught y 2 y 3 v naught. Then 
what is the term that he left? This, this is equal to plus y 1 y 2 v naught. So, here v naught is common and all the three terms here v i is there. So, the gain is v naught by v i. So, what will be expression for v naught by v i? So, this v naught divided by v i. So, this side y 1 y 2 a naught will be left y 1 y 2 a naught divided by so this side v naught we have taken so this is y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3 into y 4 second term is 1 minus a naught times y 2 y 3 and third term is y 1 y 2 this is the expression for the gain of a generalized silent key second order active low pass filter. Now, we will replace this admittances with the resistance and capacitances. Okay. So, the first order filter have one RC section, now we will be having two RC sections. So, in terms of R and C, this circuit will be this is V i, this is one R C section, this is another R C section and this will be connected to the output. This is input, we will take the identical R C sections, R C R C, this will be grounded and positive side we have resistance R 1 R F. So, this circuit is similar to the generalized circuit that I have given with what are the values of y 1, y 2, this was y 1, this was y 2, this was y 3, this was y 4. So, y 1, y 2 are 1 by r because the admittances and y 2, y 3 is s c. If it is z 1 by s c, y s c. If it is z r simply because of y it is 1 by r. Now, what will be the transfer function of this in terms of Laplace transforms? So, v naught of s by v i of s. So, in this expression you substitute the values of y 1, y 2, y 3, y 4. So, what is numerator y 1, y 2 both are 1 by r, 1 by r. So, 1 by r square. So, this is a 0 divided by r square with the numerator and denominator is y 1 plus y 2 plus y 3. y 1 plus y 2 is 1 by r plus 1 by r which is 2 by r plus y 3 is s c times y 4 is again s c or this is y 3 y 4. plus 1 minus a naught y 2 y 3 one is 1 by r another is s c. So, s c by r plus y 1 y 2 is 1 by r into 1 by r 1 by r square. So, if you simplify this this 1 by r square is LCM, this 1 r square r square will get cancelled. Here first of all here this will be, if I write this in the form of whole divided by r, here we will get S C R. Okay. So, here what will be this one? A 0 divided by, here r square is LCM, that r square we have cancelled with this r square, then what will be coefficient here? S C R. So, 2 plus S C R into S C R. 
plus 1 minus a naught r is the diameter but r square is lcm so scr again plus simply 1. So, if I further simplify this one what is s coefficient and what is constant s square r square c square from here to here this is 2 scr this is 1 minus a naught into scr. So, SCR if I take as common plus 2 plus 1 minus A naught SCR plus 1. So, this is equal to A naught divided by S square R square C square plus 3 minus A naught into SCR plus 1. But we know that uh, the second order system will be having a frequency response which is of the form of h of s is equal to a 0 omega n square normally we will call in control system, we will call here as omega c square divided by s square plus zeta which is damping factor omega c s plus 1. This is the generalized second order transfer function. So, in order to compare these two, we have to express this in the form of S square coefficient has to be make 1. So, if I make s square coefficient as 1, a 0 r square c square you have to take as common. So, s square plus 3 minus a naught s c r by r square c square. So, 1 r 1 c will get cancelled. So, s by r c. Plus 1 by r square c square. Here this omega c is cut off frequency. So, by comparing these two, comparing with standard and this one, by comparing you will get the cut off frequency omega c square is equal to 1 by r c or implies omega c is equal to r square c square 1 by r c or f c is equal to 1 by 2 pi r c. The same expression we have obtained for the first order low pass filter also. This r and c is going to decide the cut off frequency. And what is damping factor? Zeta is called damping factor. This is cut off frequency. zeta is equal to zeta into omega c is equal to this will be equal to 3 minus a naught times by r c, but omega c into r c is equal to 1. So, implies zeta is 3 minus a naught. And this numerator, this is a naught omega c square, which is 1 by r square c square. So, this is the second order system with the standard expression h of s as a 0 omega c square divided by s square plus zeta omega c s plus 1, where for the given circuit omega c is 1 by r c and damping factor zeta is equal to 3 minus a naught, where a naught is 
वन प्लस आर एफ बाई आर वन सो वी कैन हैव सम डिस्कशन ऑन दिस ट्रांसफर फंक्शन सो हाउ डज दिस फ्रीक्वेंसी रेस्पॉन्स वेरीज फ्रीक्वेंसी रेस्पॉन्स इफ यू वॉन्ट हैव थ्री प्लेस एस विथ जे ओमेगा दिस इज इक्वल टू ए जीरो ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर डिवाइड बाई जे ओमेगा होल स्क्वेर प्लस जे ओमेगा ओमेगा सी प्लस जीट आल्सो जीटा प्लस वन और इफ वॉन्ट राइट इन टेम्स ऑफ ओमेगा बाई ओमेगा सी इफ आई टेक दिस ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर कामन यू डिवाइड एवरी थिंग विद दिस ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर सो आई वॉन्ट टू मेक दिन उमरेटर ओनली ए नाट ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर आई एम टेकिंग एस कामन सो यू डिवाइड विथ ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर दिस इज जे ओमेगा बाई ओमेगा सी होल स्क्वेर प्लस वन ओमेगा सी विल गेट कैंसिल विल गेट जे टाइम्स जीटा ओमेगा बाई ओमेगा सी प्लस वन बाई ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर सो टोटल मैग्नीट्यूड रेस्पॉन्स मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ एच ऑफ जे ओमेगा इज इक्वल टू ए नाट डिवाइड बाई मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ दिस वन इज You can also write this one as a zero divided by j becomes minus one. J square is minus one, so minus omega square by omega c square plus j times omega omega by omega c plus one by omega c square. So what is the real part and what is the imaginary part? In the denominator, square root of real part is. वन बै ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर मैनस् ओमेगा बै ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर होल स्क्वेर प्लस इमेजनरी पार्ट इज जीटा स्क्वेर ओमेगा स्क्वेर बै ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर आई फॉन्ट टू फर्दर सिंप्लीफ दिस वन ओमेगा सी स्क्वेर इज कामन This is equal to a naught divided by one minus omega c, one minus omega square by omega c square whole square plus zeta square times omega square by omega c square. First, I will show that this is a low-pass filter. I will take two extreme points. It omega is equal to zero. What will be this one? What is magnitude of h of j omega? Is equal to this is zero. So one square root one. This is zero. So simply a naught. If I take it omega c. Omega is equal to omega c. So what happens? This becomes unity. Zeta square. This is equal to omega is equal to omega c. This is equal to one. So we'll get a value. So at omega is equal to infinity. The second extreme point. What is this? Denominator is infinity. One by infinity is zero. So this will act as a low-pass filter. So if I plot this response for different values of the damping factor, I will take three different cases. You see the ideal response.
it has to allow 0 to omega c and it has to reject omega c to infinity. If I take three different cases of zeta, so we will get a three different uh, curves like this. This is one curve, this is another curve. This is another curve. So, this is for zeta is equal to 1.73, this is called Bessel filter. This is for zeta 1.414, which is root 2, this is called Butterworth filter. This is for zeta is equal to 1.06, this is called Chebyshev filter. Now we have a comparison between these three types of the filters. Okay. So, if I take this uh, Bessel filter where damping factor is high. The advantage of this one is this will be having quick roll off. So, the roll off starts from here itself, but the drawback is this is advantage, but drawback is. So, this is the pass band, this is the pass band, of course part of stop uh, this uh, transition band is also there. So, we want uh, the flat response in the pass band that is the ideal this one, this is the ideal if I take the dotted line it should be flat throughout the pass band, but here in the pass band there will be some attenuation. So, this part will indicate that this part will indicate that there is attenuation in the pass band also, this is the drawback. Whereas, if we come for the Butterworth filter, this is called maximally flat. in pass band. Compared to this, this and this, this is maximally flat. So, in the pass band if we consider over this from here to here, the maximally flat thing is this red curve, which is Butterworth filter. That is why mostly we will use uh, Butterworth type of the filters. So, in this course we will consider only the Butterworth filter. Of course, the roll off will start a little late than this Bessel function, but it is maximally flat. Coming for the Chebyshev, so this have roll off even uh, before this Bessel, roll off starts here itself. even better than vessel, but there will be ripple in the pass band, this is advantage, drawback is ripple in the pass band. So, among the three actually Butterworth is having uh, the moderate uh, response. So, mostly we will uh, use Butterworth filter for the uh, design of uh, active filters. So, in this course we will discuss only the Butterworth filters. So, what are the transfer functions of these Butterworth filters? 
and uh, how to derive this normalized Bertorot filter and all that we will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you. Thank you.